Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. This is DB9. DB9 is a 2010 Palmer Johnson Sport Yacht 170. It's been refit in 2019, and this is one of the largest sport yachts out there. This features an open sun deck with an extremely aggressive profile, as you can see. It has a metallic champagne paint, which ensures that she'll be turning heads everywhere she goes. This yacht is obviously a stunner, and it's listed for sale by Worth Avenue Yachts. She sleeps 12 guests in five different staterooms and has a crew of 11 with the ability to go up to 12 if needed. It has an aluminum hull and superstructure. Now let me give you a quick disclaimer. There are a couple different parties on board, so we're gonna be moving around a little bit crazy here and there, but just bear with me. This yacht is definitely worth it. So we're gonna make our way on board through this passerelle. You can see the swim platform back here. And instead of a tender garage, this yacht actually has a jacuzzi right off the back of the aft deck. Gives you an incredible view off the back of the super yacht. And this passerelle also can swivel to the starboard side in case you need to disembark in that direction. Right in front of the jacuzzi, you have this huge sun pad area. And then you can see there is a sunshade overhead. Now this yacht is definitely set up for enjoying the outdoor spaces. And you'll see that as we go throughout this tour. Here, you have an incredibly large seating and lounging area. All of these tables can be expanded for dining. So you can see what they look like collapsed right here. Or they can fold out for dining like this setup. You also have a more formal dining area out here on the aft deck, right here. And to ensure that you're comfortable, there is AC right in this section of the aft deck. You can see those vents right up in the ceiling. So if it's an extremely hot day, you can semi enclose off this area. You have your AC, you'll be incredibly comfortable. And because there's a few different parties on board, we're gonna head all the way up to the fore deck. And you'll see that there are doors right here that also help enclose off this area from the wind. These decks are incredibly wide. And they get even wider as you go up the stairs. Now take a look at this massive fore deck. First thing to point out is you can see your tender right here in the middle. Now this tender is a 21 foot Castoldi tender. But when this tender is removed, this rectangle section also acts as a 25 foot pool. So you have the jacuzzi on the aft deck, a 25 foot pool on the fore deck, and then you can also cover some of these areas with additional sun pads. And then you'll see a few loungers right out here, but around that is this incredibly large sectioned off hatch. And underneath that hatch, you have some jet skis. So you have one on each side. Here you can see the steps to get in and out of the pool. And then in the middle here, you have a hidden crane and this crane will pop out. And that's how you can let these jet skis into the water. I'm just stepping all the way to the front so you can really take in how expansive and massive this yacht is. I'm also at some point, probably right now, I'm gonna throw a picture of the profile shot. I know you got a little bit of it in the thumbnail and the intro, but I'll throw up a picture or two because this yacht, like I said, it's a head turner. It's simply stunning. And I think you're gonna really be enjoying the view. And one thing I like, you can see the DB9 tender is aptly named right on the tender. So we're gonna head back on the opposite side. As you'll see, this yacht is incredibly sporty. You do have the sun deck right up here, which we'll get to. We're just gonna do a little walk around on the decks. 
This door will lead us to the engine room, and we will get to this later on in the tour. So here we are in the main salon of this gorgeous Palmer Johnson yacht. You can see all the different seating that wraps around and faces this TV. And then if we head down these stairs, I'm not gonna make you wait. This is where the owner's cabin is located. So you have the huge bed in the middle of the room, the plushest carpet I've ever stepped foot on. You have the L-shaped seating area over here and I love these large circular windows. Of course, you're gonna have a huge TV on the wall, a really large closet, and then, of course, you're gonna have a pretty spectacular ensuite. You have the two mirrors with the accent lighting built in. I love mirrors like this. The double vanity. And as you'll see, this ensuite stretches for over half of the beam. It's pretty spectacular. You have your toilet and bidet and the huge shower. All marble lined, of course. And then over by the large windows, which continue back into the ensuite, you have this large soaking tub. So now down the other staircase is where we have the additional guest cabins. And this yacht is an incredibly busy yacht. So we're gonna be filming this over different parts. You'll see your formal dining setup. Here is that staircase to the guest cabins. Give me one sec, we'll go down there. But check this out. Stunning. Doesn't give this space justice. You have the backlit stone counter everything the crew needs to service this bar area. And there's also a huge 84 inch TV behind this mirror. Forward, we have a side access door as well as the day head. And then before we get to the guest cabins, really quick, let's see if we can take a peek at the galley. I know the crew is actively working Check out these two-story windows. And we'll just take a quick peek down here. So here you can see the large crew mess. It's a really good size. The entire crew can sit here. They have the TV with all the different cameras so they can see what areas need to be serviced. Fridge and freezer. And over here is where you actually have the galley. Obviously you have plenty of cold storage. This yacht has tremendous range and this yacht can handle all of that range. And of course, these are all professional appliances. Then you have some crew cabins down here. There's a refrigerator right here. More crew cabins down here. There's also a wine fridge. And then the captain's cabin is right here. And that's located right next to the bridge, which is through this door. And 
Now, obviously, a very sporty sport yacht like this will have a very streamlined bridge. You can see all of your screens and controls right here. We just push this button to be released back into the guest areas. And now let's head down to these guest cabins. All right, so we quickly jump down to the guest cabins because the main deck is actually getting filmed right now by a different party. But here you'll see the first VIP cabin. You have a beautiful room. The TV up on the wall. Your closets all along here. And then you have a really large ensuite. Your toilet and bidet are down here. And then you have your shower. Now this other VIP cabin is going to be mirrored. But like I said, as you can see, this is a gorgeous room with the impressively large ensuite. The shower is slightly different, but still walk in and a really good size. And then we have two more cabins back here, both with single beds. And this is a Pullman berth, so that's how you get to sleep 12, because each of these rooms has a Pullman. And once again, TV up on the wall. And the ensuite. And the shower is behind the door. You also have some additional storage down in here, as well as a fridge. I think it's always nice to have a fridge down here. If the guests just want to quickly grab something to drink on their own, they can do so. Let's just get one long shot of this space. All right, guys, now up here on the sun deck, 
you have the seating area aft with some sun pads as well. And then if we step around, you'll see a couple sea bobs. You have your life rafts back here. You have some catering spaces and storage in here. And then here you have a second jacuzzi. So you have one on the aft deck, one on the sun deck, and then the pool up on the fore deck, which is just ridiculous. You have more seating all around. Basically everywhere you look, you have a sun pad or a seat. You have a wing station over here. And I like how when this is not in use, it folds down flush into the side here, so you wouldn't even know it's there. And same thing on the other side, you have another wing station. You can see your umbrellas overhead, so you have some protection from the sun. And of course, you're masked with all of your radar and satellite domes, all of your communications equipment. Now let's continue on with the rest of these spaces. All right, so now we're gonna head down to the engine room. Here you'll see the first engine. The other engine is on the opposite side. Then you have your generators in the middle. Now this yacht comes with a pair of MTU 16V 400 M93L engines. They produce 4,613 horsepower. Although this yacht is massive, the top speed is 32 knots. That's incredibly impressive. And this is also a world cruising capable vessel. At 15 knots, you get about 2,366 nautical miles. And if you drop it down to 10 knots, you'll go almost double that at 5,267 nautical miles. You are set up to travel the world in style on this yacht. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this tour up on this tremendous four deck. I love the pool tender combination. The jet ski's hidden under here. This is a truly special super yacht. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Worth Avenue Yachts for granting us access on board. And I'm not even gonna pan away. I'm just gonna look right here. We will catch you next time.